Hey guys, this is Dark Yellow Rock, and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to uh, do masking for your LEGO stop motion movies and just for pictures. So to begin, let's open up our picture in Photoshop. Wait for it to load. And there we go. And now we're going to go to our, um, our other picture. So to do that, just go to File, Place, scroll down until you find your picture you're using. And there we go. I have my clone trooper in there now. So, um, and if you don't know what masking is, uh, what you do is you take a picture of a scene like this, uh, without your character in it, and then you take another picture with your character in it, and then you put the two together, and then you can rub out, as you can see, the bricks, and then you have a flying character. So, yep, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So, as you can see, I just did it there. You can just go straight ahead and just rub out the bricks, just like that. Or to make it easier, if you have a HD camera or a really high quality camera and you just use like green bricks against like a you know like a grayish background or just just a different color that repels another color um, this little magnet tool here will pick up the uh, difference between the colors and the edges on the picture and it will make it really easy to cut out the bricks so there you go. I'm just, I'm just going to do this really roughly just to show you guys There we go. And now once that's highlighted, the rubber will not rub out anything else in the picture. Just the things that are highlighted. There you go. And then once you've done that, just go to the tool, the same tool again, or any one of these tools here, and just click right hand click, click on this, and it'll just, you know, take off the lines. And then you go to your rubber and rub out all the messy lines that is left behind. And there you go, there you have it, you have a flying character. Now obviously I've done that really roughly just to show you guys, but um, obviously I'll do it neater, but yeah, uh, so there you go, and um, when you do this, like masking, you have to make sure the lighting is correct, because as you can see when I do that, it changes the colour of the uh, the rock there, and also it's not lined up properly either, as you can see, not, it's, well it's kind of hard to tell, it is quite lined up, but yeah, it's a bit out, as you can see it's moving when I do that, but to sort that problem out, just go to the rubber, make the rubber like a decent size, like quite massive, so you can rub out really easily, really fast. There we go. Uh, don't rub out the clone trooper, no, because that's that's uh, not protected by um, highlights right now. The highlighting. Um, See so that you can just rub it out. But if you do do that, just click back, and it will put it back into place. And there you go. That's how you do it. Um, and as you can see down here, this is the layer that's what's been rubbed out. If you click the eyeball here, it will hide the other layer, so you can just see what I rubbed out, and then you can just do that and get the last little bits around the clone. Um, yeah, and always make sure that the layer is above the other layer, that your first layer that you put in. So otherwise it will put that one underneath that one and you don't want that because you won't be able to see him. And then once you've done that, I'm going to share it to save it. So you go to File, Save As. Now if you save it like this, it says down here, Save Layers. Now if you save it like that, it will just save it as a folder and you'll be able to keep working on it then if you're not finished on it. But if you have finished it, just go to the uh, f uh, files down here the um yep and um, I like to choose PNG but you can choose any file you want uh, I'm going to save it to the desktop you can save it anywhere else you want to as well oh, so there's already one existing of that name because uh, I done one earlier but I just change it but leave the PNG on the end it helps it to do the file save it click OK on that and then there you go it saved it as the um, as the picture well that's the, that's the one I did earlier but this is the same one. Well, that's the one we just did right now. As you can see, that's the two E's. And there you go. So, um, yep. So as you've seen before, these are the pictures before. Oops. <laughs> now that's the Sims. That's the Wii U game. <laughs> uh, yeah. There you go, right there. And that one. Yep. And then the afterwards. Yes, there you go. And that's how you um, make your characters fly, doing masking. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been Stark of the Rock. And goodbye.